Hey everybody, I'm Undead and today we are playing the next part of What Remains of Edith Finch. We are closing to an end here. We've ju just got Don, which is Edith's mother, and Louis, her brother. And yeah, things are getting seriously dark. Let's get moving on then. All right. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Yeah, we learned in the last episode that he ran away. Did he though? Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Will we ever get to learn what he found in the house? Yeah, I checked this way last time, but perhaps now that we saw Milton's story, something new opened up, maybe, perhaps, possibly, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go up here then. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Hmm. Brothers Remorse. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Well... It doesn't help staying in. Everyone you can... told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Lewis... Seems to love his... Herbs, eh? Yeah, I was saying... It's good to grieve, to grieve, but... Don't let grieving become the only thing you do. You've got to move forward, you got to move on. And his, his room was a boat on this house. Hmm. All right, if gravity didn't kill you yet, yeah, then you do have a curse on your family. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. I wonder what it smelled like. Yeah, let's check here. Institute of Psychology. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. All right. Yeah, he was working in a cannery, so he it could get a bit monotonous. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Wonder? Wonder. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have to control... I asked him to describe it. Did he? He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. All right. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And toads. And skeletal. And things that have not names. Alright. He knew it was all in his head. Stop it with the fish, eh? There we go. Yeah, slower. But he took it very seriously. I, I can't control both things at once. But he found something more. What? Ooh, now we go on an isometric view. Daydreaming at the cannery. Did he chop off his 
And? I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Yeah, Methodical he's not talking, he's doing his job. Focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. All right. I even encouraged him. To do what? It seemed very promising at first. He's losing it, eh? He told me he'd made a new friend. A dog. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then All he right. made musicians. Your fantasy is starting to work again, eh? songs for them to play. Nice. You should design a video game. Starting a band. A rock band or Mars Command? Every day his imagination grew stronger. Fantastic. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. What? Lightning? That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Yeah. So he could do whatever he wished. I'd say that reality struck him really hard. He held an election for men. And he won. Good for him. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Why not? Well, you have to stay focused on your job, especially if you're working with... Conquer a city, then immediately you know, push on. ...tools that could hurt you. New Louisville. I'm guessing the next one is going to be even newer Louisville. St. Louis. Yeah, that was a better choice. He started drifting away from our reality. Ooh, I threw that in with the head. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. All right. You shouldn't bother your son in the in his place of work, eh? But also you should listen to your mother, Louis. In Louisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Handsome queen. Ooh, the colors are getting a bit. Too much here, eh? The Queen was on her own quest for... Sinister Serpents. Sinister Serpents. Oh. Follow the sound of her. Electric sitar, yeah. Let's put some Electric technology sitar. in our story. Oh, I missed the note. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. All right. Let's see then. Even then, his logic remained sound. Did it though? He knew the world was all in his imagination. 
Yeah, but he seems to be enjoying it. And he can also keep up with his job, so... But he was so proud of having created it. Yeah. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. An emperor? A space king? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Yeah, I knew that would happen. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. He lost it. He completely, my utterly lost it. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. He was too far gone. What a freaking great transition, eh? Ooh, I loved it. Nice, nice. That story was good. Right, he had some video games. Began to forget the world we know. That's a lot I of salmon. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Yeah, he did. It everything was great in his imaginary world. So the real world felt not bad. Not necessarily boring, but inadequate. Not enough. And that's what people in under this condition have to understand, that it's not not enough. It's enough. And the loved ones should show them that. Anyway, I will not get too psychological here. Began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Hey, dude. Oh, he's way too far gone. I still thought I could save him. By Even climbing a mountain of dead fish? Over all the lands of wonder. Yeah. Ooh. The palace was packed with his companions. Calico insisted on advising him. Yeah. A calico named Oli. Hello, Kit Kat. Alright, thank you for pointing the way. Eh? His queen waited, holding his crown. Right. My queen, I'm here. Be crowned? But I'm guessing something darker will happen, eh? Bend down his head. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Ah, Lip. That. That hits too close to home. Right, so we have Edie and Don. Yeah, I forgot Edie last time I looked at this. Family three. I'm already loving this game. It was great. I see why it got the acclaim it did and why people loved it. 
my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Yeah. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Well, she just didn't know how to do it. I wish we'd stayed. Would it be better though? I don't know. But I understand why we left. Can we get an explanation as well? My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Yeah, memories were too hard on her. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Maybe. Hello, Burb. Not Bird, Burb. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Ooh, are we... The end of the story? Day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. She Until supper, say she raised her glass and said, "To our final night together, and all our final nights apart." Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? Yeah, grown ups need to talk. Grown ups have to argue now. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Ooh, the power had boy. been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Ooh. Can we take a candle with us to help us light the way? No, apparently not. You're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. The curse, huh? Edith has a right to know these stories. Yes, she does. are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. They're not dead because of the stories. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? She doesn't want to leave, though. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Oh. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Sure God, looks like it. Smelled it smelled awful. Sure did. I've seen that house every day of my life. From afar. Now it's time to get diving in. Back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Obviously. I got turned around. I'm guessing you got turned around many, many times. I started seeing things. Yeah, you started seeing uh, your history, the, your family's history coming to life in front of your eyes. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Deers have existed for millions of years. When I saw them, they Thousands. felt like old friends. 
that night, a lot of things came back to me. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe I came back to them. Or both. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! Yeah, Mom. Mom? I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Maybe Great Grandma Edie was the, the, the kid. The band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Damn. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. Ooh, it's really. And? A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. They never do, eh? But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest of pretty quickly. She got better for a while. But that's it. then she didn't. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Ooh. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But we don't. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Yep. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. And now we're being born. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Why? I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. That would be better. I guess yeah. if you're reading this now. Things didn't work out that way. And into the world we burst. Boom. This is where your story begins. And I'm your sorry sense. I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Yeah, it was your son. And I'm guessing what remains of the Finns is Osiris Dallas. Yeah, is the history of their family, a history of reminiscent of the history of many families. A little bit less or a little bit more for each and everyone. Yeah, it was. It was really, really interesting. What with... It was a game based on the narrative, of course, and... Tied up with all these little... Flashback scenes and... Um, what do you call it? Different types of mini-games and... Getting to the surreal, something that I absolutely love and appreciated for this game. Was it a short... It was a little bit short, but yeah, if it was longer, it would be it would be dragging on. It was the appropriate length. It was like pretty much movie length. 
and that was that was fine yeah anyway uh, I'm hoping I get a chance to play another game like this because I really really liked it and I suggest you play it as well if you haven't already all right I'm going to stop talking now and let the credits roll until next time stay safe and have fun <laughs>